Hi everybody, it's Kara from Plaid and welcome to the Walmart New Products Showcase. So we are going to be live all week and we are going to be showing you and sharing with you and demonstrating brand new product available at your local Walmart and at walmart.com. So we are going to be spending the entire week showing you new glitter paint, glitterific pop that we have, new beautiful colors of color shift. We've got some brand new product lines. We have folk art dots. We've got some great new surfaces. We have got new colors of Waverly chalk paint. So we're really excited and that is just the tip of what we're going to be showing you. So I've got Jesse here in the studio with me this morning. I also have um, the iPad here, so I'm gonna be able to answer any questions or comments that you have live while we are live. You're gonna be able to watch this on Facebook after we're live and also on our YouTube channel. So again, this is all about Walmart's new product that we have in your local Walmart and on walmart.com. So we're really excited. So like I said, we're gonna be kicking off this week. We are talking about specialty paint. So we have got some brand new glitterific colors, um, a glitterific formula in the glitterific family. We also have new colors of color shift. And then we're gonna talk about dragonfly glaze because it is the beautiful um, addition just to this entire family of beautiful colors that we have and specialty formulas. So Glitterific was our first glitter, most glitterific paint that we um, created. And it is multiple size glitters suspended in a clear base. So Jesse's gonna show you that. We've got a beautiful range of colors and it is really fun. It's so great for DIY, for home decor, for celebrations. Then we also have Glitterific Fine. That was our second edition. And that is a very fine glitter suspended in a clear base. So again, you get a beautiful range of glitters and shine and sheen. Then we have Glitterific Pop. So we are so excited. This is brand new this year. It is Folk Art Glitterific Pop. And it is multi-sized and multi-color glitter suspended in a milky base. So that means you are getting the best of all the glitters. We've got different sizes, different shapes, different colors, all in, packed into this paint. It is non-toxic and like our other glitter paints, it is made right here in the USA. So we're really proud of that. Again, it is suspended in a clear, in a milky base. So Jessie's gonna show you when she's crafting exactly what that means, but it's gonna dry to a beautiful, glittery, glittery shimmer. Again, this, these glitters are so beautiful. They're holographic, they catch the light. And what is so great about Glitter Effect Pop, it is a mess-free way to craft for indoor and outdoor use. So Glitterific and Glitterific Fine are great for indoor use, but Glitterific Pop is great for multiple surfaces and indoor-outdoor crafting. So we know it's that time of year where people are decorating their indoor-outdoor spaces, their patios. This is great for terracotta pots and plant holders. So this is a really great addition. Walmart has four great colors. So we have got Birthday Party, and again, Jesse's gonna show you all of these painted out. Birthday Party is this beautiful pink, blue, and gold. Again, all hologra holographic glitters suspended in a milky base. We also have Neon Explosion, which is really fun and bright and vibrant. And then we have got our gold, which is Golden Treasure. And we have Canyon Sunset, which is a beautiful gold and copper mixture. So again, really excited about this. We have Color Shift also. So we have got Color Shift pastels, which are brand new. We have three new colors. So Color Shift, um, it's a few years old. I don't I wanna say if it's three, five years yeah, old, so but we've got some beautiful, um, great colors. We've got aquas and purples and pinks and blacks. And now we have pastels. Pastels are a huge trend um, in crafting and DIY. So we've got this beautiful pastel green, pastel pink, and we have a pastel purple that Jesse's gonna show you. And again, these color shifts actually change in the light. So when you move your project back and forth, you can see, I hope you guys can see that on camera, you actually get different hints of different colors. So you can see one of our aquas. So you can see that it moves and you're gonna pick up different shades and tones. So it's really beautiful. So that's Color Shift. And again, Color Shift is indoor, outdoor. So again, a great addition for crafting to decorate and DIY your spaces. And then we wanted to talk about Dragon Shift, even though it's not brand new this year. It is just a great um, acrylic glaze. It is a top coat actually that is um, 
has light reflective particles in it. So this is different than color shift and different than glitter, it actually shifts so it goes multiple, multiple colors. So this is a full spectrum. So this means you're gonna get a hint of all colors in the rainbow. And this one, for example, is green, gold, and red. So it's actually gonna shift from color to color. So it's a really beautiful addition. Again, this is a great um, dragonfly glaze. It's a great top coat. And it just rounds out this whole um, line that we have created of glitters, color shifting paints and dragonfly glazes. So we're really excited. Again, if you have questions, I'm gonna check out while Jesse gets started crafting and she's gonna walk you through and show you some amazing projects that the team here has created. Again, all this product is available. Check out your local Walmart and walmart.com. So go ahead, Jesse. Let's Thanks, get started Kira. crafting for yeah. the week. Like Kira said, my name is Jesse really Jennings excited. and I'm a content creator here at Plaid. And I'm super excited to show you about all of our brand new specialty paints that Walmart will be carrying this year. So first of all, our absolutely brand new glitter, like Kira mentioned, is our Glitterific Pop. This is a really, really fun paint, um, and it almost reminds me of confetti. So like Kira said, um, it is a great addition to our sort of like family of Glitterific um, formulas that we have, and I can show you a really great example of that. So here is a really cute little project. This is a heart. You can buy this heart at Walmart as well, too, this cute heart palette. Um, but this shows you all three of our glitter um, formulas. So on the top here, we have our original gold glitterific, which is, here, I'll show you on the overhead, super sparkly. You can see that there. Super full coverage, really chunky, just like you guys know and love it. And then last year during our um, new product showcase, you might remember, we showed you guys our Glitterific Fine, which is just a little bit more subtle. It's got more of like a shimmery, kind of reminds you of like fairies and unicorn um, sort of feel to it, but very pretty and also full coverage. And then our brand new formula, which is our Glitterific Pop. So you can see here, this one has multiple uh, sized particles in the base. Um, it dries super clear, just like the other Glitterifics, but it kind of almost reminds me of like confetti. It's got some like little holographic pieces in there too that just really catch that light and make it extra super sparkly. So if you guys are confused, we have so many awesome Glitterific formulas. This is a really good example to kind of show you the difference between the three. So you can pick one based on which, um, what project you're doing at home. And also like Kira mentioned, one of my favorite and most exciting parts about our Glitterific Pop is that it's outdoor safe. So you can see we crafted these really cute little terrariums here that you can put outside on your porch. Um, and you can also see how great it looks on just clear glass. There's no base coat or anything on that, but it's super, super sparkly. It catches that light. And this is a really fun one. This is called Birthday Party. And like I said, it reminds me of confetti. So this is like probably my favorite color in the new Glitterific Pop line. Super, super cool. And I'm going to paint out a little too because, again, it's a little bit different from our other Glitterific formulas um, in that it has a milky base. So our first two Glitterific formulas have a super clear base right when you put it on, and then of course it dries clear as well. Um, but this one's a little bit milky, but it dries crystal clear like you saw. It dries just as clear as our other two formulas. So I'm going to show you what it looks like um, when we paint it on. So here, I'm going to grab... Let's grab a canyon. This is another, or Sunset Canyon. This is the one that Kira mentioned. It has like gold and copper. I'll show you on the plate. Particles in it that are super sparkly. So here's what it looks like when you um, pour it out. Like I said, it's a little bit milky. And I have just a little swatch of wood here to show you just really what it looks like. I've got my raw wood, my um, just white acrylic paint, and then black acrylic paint to kind of show you what it looks like across all three dark light and then just a raw um, crafting surface. So you can see here, it does go on a little bit milky, but it will dry super crystal clear. So we can even let this sit while we're chit-chatting about our new um, products, and then we can come back to it and you can see just how um, crystal clear it dries. But isn't that beautiful? I just love how it looks like confetti. And by doing, um, I'm just going to chime in here, Jesse. Yeah, so please. multiple coats, you're, you know, you're going to get a lot of sparkle in that first um, coat that you brush out. But the more coats you put on, almost, you know, the thicker that it gets and you get even more sparkle. So, Definitely. you know, if you want a little bit of your surface or your base coat to show through, one coat may be great. But if you want it to be like fully packed and concentrated, you can just apply additional coats to Definitely. it. Definitely. Absolutely. And I'm really excited to show you guys, too, what it looks like on all three of these um, colored surfaces on the dark light and then the raw wood, too, because it has such a different look depending on what color you paint it on top of, which I think is super duper fun. 
But again, I'm really excited also to show you how it dries super, super clear, just like this one you can see here. It dries just as clear as our other Glitterfic formulas, which is great. Okay, so I'm going to show you some more projects we have here with our Glitterific. Um, so we've got this cute little canvas here. So I just love, love, love the idea of using, you know, our folk art acrylic paints and adding glitter to them. I think that's so, so fun. So this is a cute little painting we did on a little tiny canvas here that we got at Walmart. And we painted it with some of our folk art matte acrylic paints. And then we added, um, this one is called Neon Explosion. We added Neon Explosion on top. And it just gives it a really, really fun look. So um, super easy to do. You can use a paintbrush or a palette knife to apply this glitter. It's just as thick as our other Glitterific formulas. But I thought that was a really fun way to use this glitter and add a little accent to the folk art paint you already have at home. Isn't that cute? I love it. Okay. And again, the fact that this formula is indoor-outdoor. Mm -hmm. Again, we love Glitterific. We love Glitterific fine. But having an indoor-outdoor glitter paint, mess-free. Yes. And it's non-toxic. That's really important right. made right here in the USA. Right. I, I completely agree with you, Kira. It's so fun. This is great for like your outdoor patio or for birthday parties if you have it in the park. And because it's outdoor um, safe, that means it's water resistant. So you don't have to worry about it, you know, getting moisture on it over time and cracking or, you know, kind of sliding off like a lot of uh, paints and glitters do. This one will hold up outside, you know, on, in your, on your porch or, like I said, like if you've got like a pretty gazebo or something, I can just see these with candles. Wouldn't that be so pretty? So that is a really, really awesome um, part of this brand new paint, too, that I'm super excited about. You can see here we did this really cute, i got so many projects here, this really cute planter. So this one is great for outside too. We just took a simple planter from the home decor section, we taped it off and we put some of our neon explosion. You can see how pretty that is on white there. I don't want to dump the plants out, otherwise I'd go over No, it looks really pretty, <laughs> like you turning it like that, oh, you good. can really see it Good, great. but it's super easy to do and you get such a fun pop of color for your outdoor area that you wouldn't have had before. This is a plain white planter and it was super easy to craft and put this on and it will be safe outside when you're watering these plants and you're watering these succulents. You don't have to worry about the glitter getting wet, which is so, so, so convenient. Well, and I know it's spring now, but all of this, especially these formulas, are great for holiday and seasonal crafting. Yes, so absolutely. When it's fall, when it's Halloween, when it's Christmas, winter, these oh are my all gosh, great yeah. additions. Ornaments, I mean, think of the beautiful ornaments you can make with this Glitterific formula. Right. Centerpieces, I know. especially people oh, are having weddings. showers now or weddings. Oh my gosh, I love that idea. That's such a great idea. Yeah. Um, I also want to show you, so I have a little uh, palette here that we, that's from Walmart, of course, and we just painted it again with some matte acrylic uh, folk art acrylic and then we've got some treasure gold on here so I'm gonna use our birthday party formula this is the one that's got the pinks and blues and golds in it and I'm gonna show you I'm gonna paint across it and let that dry as well to show you how fun it is on top of colors too we talked about on this painting here how fun it is and how easy it is to you know kind of add that pop of sparkle to your project but I want to show you on here um, how how great it is and you can kind of see the difference between we painted it out on the white and stuff and now we'll paint it out onto these colors and just kind of, it gives it that extra pop of color. So I'm gonna grab another brush, and I'm just using regular brushes here. Here, maybe I'll use the palette knife now. So I just used a regular um, acrylic paint brush earlier, one of our folk art brushes, and now I just have a little palette knife here, because you can really do it either way. Because the formula is so thick, you can brush it on with your brush to get a little more control, but if you really are going for like full coverage right off the bat, you can use a palette knife and just sort of spread it onto your project. And like we keep saying, it does have a milky base when you paint it out. And that's part of the formula that makes it outdoor safe. But it does dry super duper crystal clear. Yeah, you can actually see on the screen right now next to you, kind of that um, triangle topi topiary yeah. um, has the birthday party on it. So that was glass with the birthday party on yeah. it. So you can see the difference. You can see the light comes straight out. through it. Yeah. And you were just mentioning using a regular brush. It mm -hmm. is... Um, while the paint is still wet, you can easily clean up with soapy, wa like warm soapy water. Yeah. So don't worry about it getting into your brushes or ruining your brushes. Yeah. Just when your brush is still wet, just use whatever you typically do to clean your brush. But you know, warm like dish soap, soapy water works great to clean this up. Totally. And it's mess free when it dries. 
you're not going to have glitter all over your house or on your hands. <laughs> you're going to be able to literally take your hand and wipe it over all this glitter and it's going to come off. Your hand's going to be clean, which is amazing. And I can't tell you how much that means to me because I love glitter and I love sparkling. <laughs> I obviously love crafting, but my husband hates glitter so much. So this is a really great one yeah. for me to use at home because I don't end up getting glitter all over the carpet and the couch and it doesn't like stick to your clothes and it just never yeah. seems to go away. This is completely mess free because it all stays in that base and then like Kira said even when you rub your hand across it when it's dry there's no glitter it is super smooth there's absolutely no glitter on my hand which is such a big deal if you're a glitter lover but you hate the mess this is a really kind of a game changer for you guys out there yeah. okay so I'm gonna show you um, a one more project or maybe a couple more projects actually I can show you how we added the glitter to this um, terrarium here so just another glass surface that you can purchase at Walmart. This is really fun because you can put plants in it, you can put candles in it. Like Kira mentioned, it's great for centerpieces. So imagine, you know, the gold glitter with a candle in this for your wedding. I think that would be absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to grab some more of this canyon or sunset canyon. And the fact that the color shift and the any of the glitterific really work well together. So you could use yes. your color shift as a base coat. And then totally. you can put your glitter pop, your glitter fine, or your regular glitter graphic right on top of that. I love that idea. That is such a, a beautiful idea. Kind of like we just did. We took that treasure gold, um, mm -hmm. which if you guys don't know, treasure gold is also carried at Walmart. It is just like the most metallic water-based paint you will find, and we are obsessed with it here at Plaid. Yes. Um, so we love to base coat glitter with our treasure gold because it makes it that much more sparkly. Yeah, treasure gold kind of became our new glitter. It did. <laughs> it did. We're like, we add it to everything. We're like, we have glitterific, so we'll just put treasure gold on everything else. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So again, guys, you can see here how this is going on slightly milky, but when it dries, it's going to look like this one here, super duper clear with that light coming through. So you don't have to worry about that. Just give it a little bit of time to dry, and you're going to get that beautiful, beautiful sparkly finish that you're seeing here in this dry uh, terrarium that I have next to it. Yeah, and you're not going to have brush strokes. It's going to, nope. you know, really level out. So you're just going to get that beautiful sparkle. And again, more coats of the glitterific pop, mm -hmm. the um, more concentrated it'll be. So yep. if you just want a little bit of sparkle, you know, put a good even coat on and it's still got a lot of sparkle. But if you want it to be completely covered and not see any of your base or surface underneath, then do two coats and it'll completely cover. Definitely. And like I said, you can use a palette knife too if you really mm -hmm. are kind of an impatient crafter and you just want to get a ton of glitter <laughs> on there. You can just do it all in one coat. Just keep in mind it'll take a little bit longer to dry because you have more paint on there. Um, but yeah, you can really just load the glitter on. Just like if you guys are used to crafting with our, you know, our original Glitterific formula, it's the same way. You can use a palette knife and put as much glitter on there and just, you know, give it a overnight to dry or so, um, and you'll have super duper full coverage with your glitter. Do you have any questions or anything, Kira? No, we've got lots of people watching, but no questions. Awesome. I'm glad there's people watching. Yeah. So we can start talking about color shift. Okay, cool. And again, if you have questions while we are live, Jesse and I are happy to answer them. Don't forget that we are talking all about our new product that is available. Check out your local Walmart and walmart.com. We're talking about folk art specialty products that are available. They are brand new. Um, we have got new addition to our glitter line, which is Glitterific Pop, which is a beautiful glitter paint suspended in a milky base that dries super clear and it is indoor outdoor. Mm -hmm. That's a great addition to our other Glitterific and our Glitterific Fine. We've got new colors of color shift Jesse's going to talk about. And then we're also going to show you Dragonfly because, again, it's one of our favorites and they all just work so well together. They really do. Um, okay, so color shift. Like Kira mentioned, you guys all know and love our color shift colors. And these are all of the original color shift colors that Walmart carries, you know, online and in store. We have three brand new colors that are pastel colors that are coming to Walmart this year. So we are super excited about these. If you guys are Pinterest lovers or you like to look out for trends, you'll be seeing pastel colors everywhere this year. We have for weddings and spring and even for Christmas, tons of pastel Christmases this year. So we are super duper excited about these pastel color shift colors. And like here mentioned, we have our pastel pink, our pastel purple, which is this pretty lavender color, and then our pastel green, which is a really cute sort of minty color. Um, so it's a really beautiful addition to the colors you can already find at Walmart. And here are some examples of those. So here is that pastel green. You can see it's like that beautiful mint color. So this was like a very pretty little delicate glass vase. And then we painted our pastel green on it. 
And like Kira showed you earlier, it shifts in the light. So when you turn your project, you'll get see different colors within that paint, which I think is so beautiful and so fun. And then here's an example of our pastel purple, which really is catching the light there. And again, this is just a little vase. It works on multiple surfaces. So you can use it on your planters and stuff. Um, like our Glitterific Pop, it is indoor and outdoor safe. So you can put it on your projects outside, which is great. Um, like I said, for weddings, baby showers, whatever you've got coming up, just your outdoor decor. That is our pastel pink. Isn't that so beautiful the way it catches the light? I just love it. Okay, so unlike our um, Glitterific that we've talked about and our Dragonfly, this is a paint. This is not a top coat or a glaze or a glitter. This is just a straight up acrylic paint, so you can use it for base coating. Um, you see we've got these beautiful candlesticks that we've painted it on, and it's just the paint itself. It doesn't have to go on top of anything, but it really does, when you put it on top of different colors, it kind of changes the look of the paint, which is so fun. So I've got another one of these little swatches here that's got our black, our white, and then our raw wood because we have so many fun raw wood surfaces at Walmart. We wanted to show you what it looks like. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like painted out on one of these so you can kind of get the idea of what it looks like if you paint it over black or paint it over white. It, you really get a different look. So I think I'll go with our purple. This is our pastel purple. Pour it out on my little palette here. And you can see already, like even just the paint when it's wet, shifts in the light. You can see that it's already iridescent. And this one shifts to like almost like a minty green or blue color, which is really, really pretty. So I'm just gonna grab another plain acrylic paintbrush. And I'll show you what it looks like brushed out across these three colors. So you get a really different look depending on the color that is beneath this, especially if you just do light coats, if you don't do full coverage, because then you can kind of see the, the color um, beneath it coming through. So it's really a, kind of a cool idea to do swatches like this before, when you're planning your projects, because you can get a good idea of what it looks like over different surfaces. But can you see that? You see the dark. Um, on top of the black paint, again, this is just matte acrylic paint. You have that really like intense shimmer. You can really see the blues in the paint when you shift it in the light. Oh, yeah, that looks great. And that's great coverage to show over light or dark. Definitely. You know, once it dries, you're going to even get better coverage. Yeah, and this is just one okay. coat. So think about it. If you do two coats, you'll have full coverage. But I do love how you can see the difference between the, the raw wood, the white, and the black, how it looks different underneath. I love, love, love the way it looks on black. I think our color shift colors are so beautiful on black because the darkness of the black really just like sucks out the extra light and you can see <laughs> the color shifting so well. Isn't that so pretty? Yeah. I just love it. Um, and like I said, since this is just a regular acrylic paint, you can use this for adding to your other craft projects too. We've got this really cute sign here. This is kind of like a sneak peek for what's coming later this week. Um, but this is a really fun sign that we've crafted using some of our brand new surfaces that are coming to Walmart. So make sure to stay tuned this week because you're going to hear all about those. Um, but this is just using our um, folk art matte acrylic paints, but you can use color shift to kind of add accents to it. So I'll show you how you can add some, some fun extra um, shimmer to your project. So here you can just paint it onto your little butterfly. It just works really well in conjunction with our other products that we carry, that they carry at my, or, uh, Walmart in store and online. So I'm just painting over it. You can see how you get that shimmer already. Yeah, so if you didn't want to do a whole project with shimmer and shine, all of these are great accents also, which I love. Yes, definitely. Um, whether it's, and again, we've talked metallic and glitter, we've got color shifting and iridescent and these beautiful pastels, which are such a huge trend right now. And then we have our dragonfly, which is the reflective pigments in that top coat. Yep. They all work so well together. And again, color shift is indoor, outdoor. So yes. again, great for clay pots, terracotta pots, canvas, wood, metal, glass. I mean, it is just great for multiple different surfaces. Yes, agreed. I love the idea of using it for planters and flowers yes. too. So it's like natural, pretty flat colors with that super shimmery um, base. I think that would be a really pretty contrast. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, check out your local Walmart in store, but also on walmart.com, we've got some great sets and kits that we've put together. So you can get multiple colors of your favorite formula together. And it's really great because you can have it shipped right to your home. So yeah, totally. I love that. I know there's great sets of the color shift and the glitters and the dragonfly. 
That way, if you can't decide on the colors you want, you can just let them, Get them decide all. for you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Buy one of each. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We can see how pretty that is. Just really fun to add as accents to crafts you're already making at home. Um, this would be fun for like a little girl's room or for a classroom, just a little sign for your house. I think that's just a super fun way to use our uh, color shift. Yeah, and again, all seasons. So again, mm -hmm. it's spring, but this stuff, we've done some amazing pumpkins and Christmas ornaments, and it's great for gift giving. Um, you know, we've decorated bags and packages. Again, we talked about showers and centerpieces. Oh, yeah. So it really is, you know, a great addition to our folk art line of just, you know, our mat and our satin multi-surface. These are such great additions to have. Mm -hmm. Just kind of stock your craft room. Yes, I love it. And I just love that we came up with a pastel color suit. I was so excited when I heard that we were going to be doing pastel colors because here's an example of one of our original colors. This is our green, our a color shift green, which is beautiful. It's like a rich, beautiful um, emerald color. And, you know, it's it really didn't need to be fixed until I heard we were getting pastels. And then I was like, <laughs> oh, my gosh, I didn't know it could get any better. So you can see here, here's an example of our purple. So it's just really, really fun, trendy colors that are added to an already beautiful, beautiful line of paints. Yeah. Isn't that so pretty? This one kind of shifts to gold, where this one shifts to, like, a pinky blue and, like, silver, too, I'm seeing. It's just so many different colors when you shift it in the light. And we've got so many great wood surfaces, like you mentioned. We're going to be talking about mm -hmm. those later this week. But Walmart has so many great surfaces also. There are candle sticks, like those candle holders and frames and glass vases and pots. So lots of great surfaces that you can get and grab these paints and DIY them and really make them personalized for your space. Totally. So here's yeah. another little sneak peek. I know we're kind of giving stuff away. Here's another new surface that's coming to Walmart, a really cute layered rainbow shape. Um, but another really fun one to use, a super fun sort of whimsical formula like Color Shift pastels too. So we can show you how easy it goes on raw wood. And like I said, keep in mind you could base coat this white or base coat it black to get kind of a different look. But I'm going to show you what it looks like just on the raw wood here. We'll use all three colors for this one so you can see an example of, of each of them. I've got the purple on there. I'm going to add the pink to my little palette. And again, these paints are all non-toxic, mm -hmm. made right here in the USA, so it is great for family crafting. Totally. So this is a fun, you know, could be a mommy and me or tweens or teens. These are great products, especially with summer coming up. You know, stock up at your local Walmart or walmart.com and keep them busy this summer. This is great, you know, to be off tech and IT and to actually craft and be making. It's such a fun product especially if it's a teen or tween, they really want to personalize and decorate their space. So this could be something awesome to DIY their bedroom or like their hangout room. So it is really fun for summer coming up. Totally. This is great, great, great for kids too. I love yeah. that idea. Make some artwork instead of being on their iPads. So Except you have helping. to watch us on your iPad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then go buy the paint and craft yes. and then get off your technology. Buy on Walmart.com and then turn it off. <laughs> so you can see here how just it's got great coverage right on the raw wood. You don't even need to necessarily base coat it. Um, just like I mentioned earlier, it gives it a little bit different of a look, but it's definitely not mandatory. You can do it right on the raw surfaces you purchase at Walmart. Um, and it looks so, so, so pretty. So there's the purple. I know we've seen the purple. So I, do, I really do want to show you the other two new colors that we've got at Walmart. So here's the pink. You can see here it's, again, already shifting on the palette. It is so, 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 so pretty. I love this pink. This is the week where we say cute and pretty and amazing so many times because we, we really do love this product. Like the, the entire team is going to be here this week, so it's really fun for you guys to just get to see all the different um, crafting types and personalities that we have here. We have such a fun team and, you know, we've been working with the product and the trend team to create these products all year long. And then we get to bring them to you and show them off and really showcase that they are truly the most metallic or glittery or shiny or color <laughs> shifting. So it is really fun and we get excited these weeks when we get to, you know, we're live all the time, but this is a fun special week that we're like, check out all our new stuff that we get to play with. Definitely. So. I was thinking that earlier. I was like, this one's my favorite. No, this one's my favorite. I was like, no one's going to ever believe me because I say, yes. every single new paint I talk about is my favorite, <laughs> but it just really feels like it whenever I'm using it. Yep. And here's the pastel green you can see here, which again, just as good of coverage as the other two colors and already shifts in the light too, which is great. So even when it's wet, it's so shimmery and it's so like metallic and iridescent that it already shifts in the light when it's still wet. You can see there, 
How cute is that? And how quick was that? So quick, one coat. I know, you can add it to something cute. Walmart, like I said, has tons of cute surfaces. I showed you that cute um, uh, heart palette earlier this would be cute on. We've also got this fun little chalkboard that this would be adorable little accent on. So just imagine your, you know, your child or your tween's room with their little name on it and they can craft this cute little rainbow to go on it. Just so many, so many different ways you can craft this summer with these brand new um, formulas. All right, well, let's talk about one of our other favorites. Okay. That's not new, but we love it anyway, and it kind of completes the set. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got Dragonfly Glaze. So Dragonfly Glaze is a top coat that actually has light reflecting particles in it. So again, it works great with all the other formulas, and it is indoor-outdoor also. So yes, so like you said, this is my other favorite. <laughs> you can see here how super duper sparkly it is. Um, so unlike the paint we just showed you, unlike Color Shift, this, like Kira said, is a top coat. So you want to put this on top of another color, um, or just keep in mind that whatever color your surface is, is going to show through, because this is a clear top coat. And I'll show you an example of that in just a minute, but I do want to show you um, just how sparkly and iridescent this is. Here we can switch to overhead to get a really good view. Like, look at that. It looks so great on faceted and, you know, textured pieces because it catches the light like this. But the blues and the greens and the silvers you can see that are caught in this are just absolutely stunning. And we have so many different colors. So this one's beautiful. This one, I believe, is our a green gold formula. So you can see here, again, this is painted on black, and I'll show you examples of it on other colors, but the black really does just absorb the light and give you the most sparkle. But I'll show you too that you can use it on other um, colors as well and still get just as beautiful of a of an outcome. I was gonna say I have some pastels over here, so oh, yeah, perfect. You could actually put this on top of color shift. Mm. <laughs> so we could double up. I don't know if you guys want to hand that to Jesse. Go crazy. I have a couple here too, so I can show them. Okay. Perfect. So here's one of our pastel greens. So you can see here is a bit of a difference. So it, I think these are actually the two of the mm. same glaze. So you can see the absolute difference you get when it's over black versus when it's over this pretty pastel green color, but it's still just as beautiful because you're seeing that green coming through. So you're kind of like adding a color to the colors that are already shifting. Isn't that so pretty? We have a lot of science happening here. I, know. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it is, again, it the is. paints, like what you put them over, just it enhances. It's and like it's prismatic. So beautiful. You know, look at this rock we painted. So like we said, this is indoor and outdoor safe. So we love, love, love painting rocks here at Plaid. We're sure you guys love it too. Um, it's still trendy. People have been painting rocks for years now. They love to do the Facebook groups where, you know, you can hide rocks and find them in your neighborhood and your community and things like that and post about it, which is super fun. Um, so we painted some rocks here. And this one has a little bit of all of the different color shift formulas. And the rock is so faceted that look how it catches the light. All of the different colors are on this rock, and you can see how beautiful it is. Look how iridescent. Just imagine that on, like, whatever, you're, whatever it is you're crafting at home, it will be or beautiful. What do you, like, trimmed out your, you know, your garden or oh my your gosh, little yes. space? Like, I can't think of the name of it. Like, by your entryway, like, you put yes. a bunch of those rocks. could be really beautiful. That is such a good idea. And here's some more, too, just a different kind of style of rock here. Um, we just painted rocks black, like we mentioned, with some multi-surface paints. And then we painted some white, you know, little artwork on here. We painted some words. And then we put the um, dragonfly glaze over it. And again, this is safe outside. I'm not even touching it. Look how it's like catching the light already. It is so, so, so pretty. Um, but yes, when it moves in the light, I mean, it catches all those different colors. Each one has different um, colors that it shifts to, which are right in the name too, so you don't have to worry. Like, for example, this one's called blue green gold shift and I believe it's this one so it shifts from blue to green to gold just like the title it's very <laughs> literal so you can't go wrong but look how beautiful all, you can see all three of those colors in the formula itself let's see if we can see another one that we can show you an example of yeah they look great on camera red violet blue so this one's the red violet blue here so you can see how it's catching all of those colors there isn't that just stunning and the white coming through too you can see how it looks different I just think it's so 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 much fun and then here's another example of a color, too. I'm reaching all over the place. <laughs> so this one is another beautiful glass vase, um, and we painted it just with a magenta paint. And then I believe we put the, let me make sure I get the formulas right. I believe we put the, oh, not that one. 
the red, violet, blue shift over it. So you can see, look at that, how it catches the light, but you still see that really fun magenta color coming through. So it doesn't just have to be on black. You just get a really different look depending on the color that you put beneath it, but it is absolutely stunning. I just love that. And again, Color Shift makes a great base coat for it also. Totally. So it just takes it up a whole nother level and yeah. notch. I can paint some on Color Shift. Should we do it? Sure. Let's, let's go crazy. Yeah. It's Monday. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Kicking off Walmart new product spotlight. I know. So here, here's a cute, let's do this little pink face here. Okay. This is a little pink face I showed you earlier that has our pastel pink in our Color Shift line. And I'm going to grab a little palette and put some of our Dragonfly Glaze on it. So let's do our... I'm trying to decide which one I want to put on here. Our blue, green, gold shift. That'll and be great. These are also great for multiple surfaces. So we've shown it on mm -hmm. wood, on canvas, picture frames, glass, rocks, vases, candlesticks. Totally. Um, you can use it on paper. So it is so great. All of the formulas that we've talked about today are great on multiple surfaces. Yes, definitely. Dr. So Craft Room. <laughs> yeah, right? Um, so just like our color shift, or I'm sorry, our, our Glitterific Pop, um, this one has a milky base as well, our Dragonfly Glaze. But as you can see in all of our projects here, it dries super crystal clear. So it does go on milky a little bit, but as soon as it dries, you don't see any of that base. All you see are those shifting particles. So don't worry if you start painting it on and you're like, oh no, it's hiding all of my color beneath. It will always dry super crystal clear. Yeah, I love it over the pastels. I love I know, it over black, too. too, though. I know. I can't decide sometimes which I, I like better. But you can do it over just really any color yeah. you love at home. If you have, like, a darker color. I love the way it looks over dark colors, like navies and hunter greens and, like, berry wine colors like that. But like we showed you already, it looks beautiful over pastel colors, too. So it's really just your preference and the look that you're going for. And I'll show you, too. We can grab one of these. I would get another great little swatch here. We can kind of show you what it looks like going on to all three. Oh, yeah, perfect. So we've got our black again. This is just acrylic paint, just in case you're joining us. We've got a raw wood surface with white and black acrylic paint to show you guys how our paints look over all three of these um, colors, or lack thereof. And we've got so many beautiful raw wood um, surfaces at Walmart. We're going to show you how it looks on those as well. But again, it goes on a little bit milky, and then it will dry clear. That pretty. You can already see the, how the difference will be, though, over the uh, white versus the black, even with the milky base still wet. The black is already picking up all of those glitter colors, all of those beautiful color shifting particles in the glaze. Okay, so you guys can already see it. You see how it's already catching the light? Even though it's still wet and that milky base will go away, it's already looking super duper shimmery, which is so fun. Yeah, that looks great. I just love it. All right. Well, if nobody has any questions. Yeah. Here, let's go back to the beginning. Remember yeah. when we said we we're going to show them? Yeah, I want our... to show them the pop one more time. Yeah. So back to our um, Glitterific Pop. Like This is the first formula we mentioned. If you're just joining us, we painted out one of those little swatches to show you how the base dries clear. And it's still a little bit wet, but you can see how it's really almost dry already. I can even touch it. You can see how super clear that base is. And some of this will still do a little bit more drying, um, but this was just one coat of the glitter. It looks sort of confetti-ish, and all of those iridescent particles in the clear or in the base are catching the light already, and it's super duper sparkly. So we just did this in the beginning of the segment. So what, it's been maybe 20 minutes of drying yeah, time, and it's nearly done. Say. Just to show you guys, kind of, you could do a second coat, even a third coat if you are feeling crazy. Um, but it will go, it will dry super crystal clear, which is so fun. Yeah, that's a great example of how fast it dries also. Yeah, yeah, totally. All right, so, guys, check out your local Walmart or walmart.com. Look for Glitterific, Glitterific Fine, and our brand new Glitterific Pop, which is multiple size glitters in multiple colors suspended in a milky base. It is indoor, outdoor. It is a great addition to the entire Glitterific line and they all work well, so well together. So check out Glitterific Pop. 
We also showed you guys Color Shift, which we have beautiful brand new pastels. It is a great um, acrylic indoor outdoor paint that shifts in the changing light. So you get a lot of beautiful depth and dimension and um, you know, shine out of that formula. And then also Dragonfly, which is a beautiful iridescent top coat. It's almost prismatic, and Jesse showed you over light and dark. So all of them work so well together. It's great for DIY, home decor. We're so excited. We'll be here all week. Um, the rest of the team will be here. We'll be showing you the rest of our new formulas and new surfaces and tools, and we're really excited. So you guys, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you later today. Bye, everybody.